Perplexity AI is a closed source AI powered search engine. In this video, I am going to show you how to use this open source alternate of Perplexity which is called as Perplexica. I will be giving you a short intro of this Perplexica first and then we will see how can we install locally and we will also integrate it with Olama based large language models. Perplexity AI has become a de facto standard when it comes to search and discovery platform that aims to provide users with accurate and up-to-date information. On the similar lines, this Perplexica, which is an open source AI powered searching tool or an AI powered search engine is going deep into the internet to find answers for you. As I mentioned, it has been inspired by this Perplexity AI, but it's an open source option that not just searches the web, but understands your question. It uses advanced machine learning algorithms like similarity searching and embeddings, which are the numerical representation of data to refine res results and provides clear answers with sources cited. It uses CXNG to stay current and fully open source. Perplexica ensures you always get the most up-to-date information without compromising your privacy. I will be doing a separate video on this CXNG, but for this video, let's focus on Perplexica. Now, there are a lot of details around its features, its architecture, which are present on the GitHub repo, and I'm not going to bore you with them. But one thing I just wanted to mention, there are two modes of running it. Um, you can run it in co-pilot mode, which is still in development, by the way, or you can run it in the focus mode. So which is a special mode to better answer specific type of question. So there is a all mode, which is a generic one. There is a writing assistant mode, which is focused on writing tasks. It, there is an academic search mode, which finds articles and papers ideal for academic research. Uh, there is a YouTube search mode, a Wolfram alpha search mode, which does uh, which need calculations or data analysis so for that use wolfram and also it goes into the reddit to search your data now for now i would personally prefer the all mode which is a generic mode also you can use llama 3 mixed all using llama with it which is which we will be going to use if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the most easiest and quickest way to run the models locally this is Olama for you. I have done heaps of videos on Olama. So please search my channel and you should be able to uh, see how to install it and run the models with it. Let's go back to our Perplexica. Now, let me take you to my local system where we will be installing the Perplexica first and then we'll be playing around with it. This is my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM my GPU is A6000. Now, both this GPU and VM has been very uh, graciously sponsored by our friends at Mast Compute. This is their website. If you're looking to rent GPUs on a cheaper cost with a lot of quality, then I will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon in video description. You can get the GPUs for 50% of discount and I would highly recommend them. Okay, that done. Let me go to my system. Let's clear the screen. Another recommendation I would suggest is that make sure that you have Conda installed, which will keep everything nice, simple and separate from your local installation. I already have this Conda installed. And if you don't know how to install it, please search the channel and you should be able to find something. Let me clear the screen and now let me create a Conda environment. Fairly simple. I'm just calling it Perplexica and I'm using Python 3.11 with it. Just press Y here and it is going to create that Conda environment for you. Let's step into that environment by activating it and you will see it in the parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen now. And we will begin our installation of Perplexica now. First step, let's git clone the repo of Perplexica. That is done. Now let's cd to that Perplexica directory. And if you ls-ltr here, there should be a docker compose file. And a few other things. 
there you go and make sure that you have docker installed i already have the docker installed here there you go so my this is my docker version if you don't have it please search the channel i have done a video on it in a very very simple way let's clear the screen okay so the best recommended method to install perplexica is through docker so we already have docker installed and i already have olama too so if i do olama list you will see that i already have this mistral model running also if you want to see if olama is running or not there are various options of doing that my favorite is just to just test this process so you will see that olama service is running there okay so let me clear the screen that is done now again do ls dash ltr you will see that there is a configuration file which is called as sample dot config.toml so now first step just rename this toml file to just config.toml and we'll just simply call it like this now open this config.toml in vi editor so this is sorry let me get out of here and open it again this is vi editor for you i'm just going to say this okay yes sorry about that let me open it properly so it is open properly now so if you look at this file um, you can use it with openai you can use it with grok but i'm not going to use it with both of those but i'm going to use it with the last one olama so here uh, within this double quotes all you need to do is to replace it with this url so it will be able to access it on this port this is the default port just uh, in case if you're running olama on a separate port of course you would need to replace this port so let me put it in here in within these double quotes that is done you see that i have replaced it and now let me save my file by doing colon wq and that is done let me clear the screen this is all you need to do now in order to start installation this is what we are going to do we are just going to run docker compose and it is going to use that docker compose file and bring everything up so let me run it and you see that it has started pulling all the layers of docker so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time took around two minutes but the installation is done as you can see let me take you to my browser and then we will see if it appears or not so you can access it in your local host on port 3000 so there you go so i have just loaded it in my browser it is loading and on the left hand side you see there is a home button and then there is this so it is still revolving let's wait for it to load fully it has loaded now in my browser and i'm using firefox for this and you see that now it is open in our local host and on the left hand side we have this search option we have this um, library and then at the bottom we have this setting now here you can ask it anything you like for example you can ask it who is for pizza the ai youtuber and then it is uh, if you press enter it is going to give you the answer so as soon as i have pressed enter it is just checking who is a youtuber you can also search images you can search videos and then as i mentioned earlier you can go into the search box to see what exactly is there there is your library because it's a fresh installation don't expect much happening there and these are the settings which you can check out it is still searching it seems my system is totally overloaded at the moment so i'm just refreshing the local host it is still running at my system so it seems that it really needs um, a good gpu even this gpu is not good enough for it when we are running olama and all of this stuff so everything is running fine let me quickly show you um, the containers which i am running i don't see any errors here so these are the containers which are running for the back end front end so no errors here whatsoever but still it is taking a bit of a time anyway i'm not going to wait for it more i will let it run but now at least you know how to run 
perplexica locally with the olava and one thing we have learned that we would definitely need a good gpu for it so but i think uh, 48 gpu of vram is more than enough so really they really need to uh, fix this thing because if that is uh, the requirement then it is going to be hard for many people to run it locally anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching